Hey guys, today's message, uh, sort of building off something I said in the past. I've talked about using different metrics to measure your progress, and I talked about it being almost like all the different displays on your car. So you have your odometer, you have your speedometer, you have your radio, you have your accelerometer, you have all these different things that you know uh, are sort of giving you indication of what's going on with the car, how far you've gone, how fast you're going, how much battery is left, uh, you know, what distance to your destination, all these sorts of things, right? So these are all different pieces of information instead of are related to each other, but each tell you something a little bit different. And I talked about this in terms of, of your goal as well. So you're talking about, you know, your body weight, your body fat, your photos, your measurements, all these different ways that you can measure your progress on top of the fact that you're feeling more energy, you're sleeping better, you're able to, to get through your day a little bit better, you're feeling stronger. So there's lots of ways that you can notice the difference. These are almost like different gauges in terms of your progress. And I was kind of thinking about this uh, as I was discovering something on my uh, onboard computer where it comes to my bicycle. Uh, so lately, the last week or so, I've been sort of focusing on maximize my distance for, like, for the next little while, but I want to get faster. And I want to get faster. And I started different things. I tried to look at, you know, uh, measuring how many kilometers and how long it took me to get there. And, you know, looking at my speed and trying to mimic that speed for the whole trip and that sort of thing. Uh, but then finally, I found one of the settings that was telling me my current average speed. So in the life of all the, the cycling that I've been doing over the last little while, the average speed, what it was at. And I know that if I get that average speed above that number, if I can get that, uh, that uh, speed that I'm currently going at above that number, then the average speed is gonna creep up and I know that I'm gonna get faster, right? Uh, so I think that's something that gives me a little bit more information about what I wanna get out of the, the current races, current running right now, uh, cycling right now. So I, I'm gonna focus on that number. So that's similar to you looking at how many reps you can do, how many sets you can do, how much energy you're getting, how much stronger you feel, how much uh, the, the body fats change, your photos, your circumference measures, um, and, and maybe even your weight. But for a lot of people, everyone looks at weight as if that's the number one thing to measure. And, and really it's not, uh, but I'm digressing with that. Because the point is there's a gauge for each sort of aspect of your goal. You just need to find the right gauge to measure your progress where it comes to that specific component. For me currently, that's average speed. Now where it comes to your fitness and your wellness, what's that current gauge for you? That's what you have to figure out.